بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته this دكتور أحمد الشمس another question from past paper mechanics M1 Edexel the small stone a small stone is projected vertically upwards with a speed of 20 meters per second from the point O which is 5 meter above the horizontal ground so this is the point O it's 5 meter above the horizontal ground, okay? And it's projected vertically upwards with a speed of how much? 20 meters per second, okay? The stone is modeled as particle moving under freely under gravity. Fine, that means the acceleration is negative 9.8 meters per second squared. Why we say negative? Because it's going up. So it will be decelerating, slowing down because the gravity is down until it reaches a maximum height, then what falls where down? What they ask? Find the speed, V, the speed of the stone. This is you, initial speed. Okay, find this, the speed, V, of the stone at the instant when it, which is when, when it is two meter above the ground. This is two meter above the ground. So when I'm asking about two meters above the ground, how much is the displacement? from the point O to this point, as you can see, the total height is five meter from the ground with the point they ask about it here at the velocity here at this moment, okay? That means it's going down by a displacement of how much? Three meters. So in part A, I will use solve that. And I will put each information that we have it here and to find what, what do we need? S is negative what, three, and u, it's 20, and v, it's the thing that we ask about it, and the acceleration is negative 9.8. So the equation that has no t, okay, it will be v square equal u square plus two s. So v square equal u square plus two a s. Now I need to find v, so v, equal square root of the whole thing. How much is u? It's 20. Square plus two multiplied by negative 9.8, multiplied by the distance which is negative three. And by using the equation, and by using the, and by using the equation, the answer is 21.4 meters per second. This is the answer for part A. Part B, what do they ask? In part B, they say that, calculate the total time between the instant that it's projected from O, from here, going up, okay, and the instant when first strike and hits the ground at this point. So the total displacement is going down by the whole, what, negative five meters. So, so that, that's part B. So that, what are the information that we have it? The displacement is negative five. The initial speed is still 20. They ask about the time, and we know that the acceleration is negative 9.8. So the equation that has no V, and the equation that has no V, it's S equal UT, plus half a t squared. And the s, it's negative five because it starts from the beginning here and reach the ground here. So it falls the distance, which is what? Negative five meter. U, which is 20 t plus half multiplied by negative 9.8 multiplied by what? t squared. Let's arrange the equation and put it zero. So half times negative 9.8, it's negative. 4.9, move it to the other side, it would be positive 4.9 t squared. The 20 t, move it to the other side, minus 20 t. Okay, minus five, which is equal to zero. By using the quadratic equation to find the time, which is negative, negative uh, 20, negative b. So it would be 20 plus minus square root of negative 20 squared. So 20 squared because the square cancel the negative minus four multiplied by 4.9 multiplied by 
that's A, that multiply by C, which is negative five, okay. All of this, okay, divide by what? Divide by two, multiply by A, and we will get two different answers. Okay, one answer is negative, which is negative 0 0.236 second, and we will cancel it, it's neglected, we don't want it, or the time, which is equal to 4.3 seconds, and that's our answer, and that's it for this question.